All right, welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. This is part two of part eight of uh, our current version of um, saving your disastrous campaigns. My name is Saiken, and this is still the failed psionic run. Unfortunately, I needed to restart and somewhat it had uh, res uh, reset uh, the mission towards uh, the beginning of this round, but I'm going to do it at the exact same terms, so. It's not that I would want to do anything different. I've taken the time while it has reloaded um, to make up my mind. I'm going to kill the Chosen. I want the five extra ability points. And I really would like to get this Escort. I think I've now figured out what the problem is. We would need to revive the Escort first. And then we would have a full soldier with us. Um, there is, however, the issue that there is yet a stun lancer behind us. So it's a kind of double edged sword. Nevertheless, I'd like to have that soldier on my team. Not 100% sure why it said specialist and now she's carrying a rifle. Doesn't necessarily make the most sense to me. She also kind of looks more like a sniper. Yeah. Not only kind of, she, let's be honest, she looks more like a sniper. We're being dazed. That sucks because in the previous uh, version I could lob a grenade and that's where all of this un, uh, unfolded. That's very, very uh, bad. The only, I, I can't change it. It's random whether or not you get dazed. And apparently this time we were not allowed to, to just be revived. Sucks, but like I said, I I can't influence it. Which means we need to deal with the situation in a different way. Only 50% chance to hit the stun lancer. I really want to kill him. So I guess what we're going to do is... We're going to go into cover. Use our frag grenade. To remove his cover. You know, sometimes things are getting worse, but we do have our sniper who is now capable of executing stun lancer. There we go. Stun lancer done. Not sure why we can't hit this guy up here. That's a bummer. We definitely should uh, try to kill most of these guys here. Just earned a promotion, that's very good. She would... Uh, she would be lieutenant afterwards. Yeah, we're probably not going to kill this guy. But we might as well try. 
on the 1 HP. Fair enough. Yeah, being dazed puts a certain burden on us. Gosh, I wish we could hit the Chosen with Vault. Those guys are currently attacking the Chosen, so I think we're going to be okay. Um, well, those guys, with the exception, of course, of the ones that are being turned into our direction, Two enemies over here. I think we're just going to go behind the crate again. Late Storm is going to kill them. If they pass by us, we can just kill them. Come on, hit the chosen. I'm coming for you. Right on the mark. That's good. Does he get headshot? These things don't no. Make for much of a Even better. So the chosen distract him, which means we can now start hitting him which is going to be perfect in all fairness uh, the chosens with their amount of hit points are really starting to become a bit annoying even with bladestorm although the templar is definitely a force to be reckoned with that's the first damage that we're taking We want to get the Chosen off of the rooftop, for fuck's sake. Let's rock. Did we really just Not miss a 90% shot? Of course. Well... Moving a bit, a little bit closer. It's time to get the chosen off of the rooftop, off of this container top, rather. That also takes his armor away, and he'll take two falling damage on top of it. Hmm. I was hoping for our sniper to be a bit more of a help, to be honest. Roger that. Let's use this guy here. No hit point chosen can be killed immediately. The higher hit point targets are going to be an issue. Which means all of them are going to be an issue. Because he has a non upgraded pistol. So we are blocking Absolutely. the entrance, which means the chosen can't climb up here. Likely not going to hit many. I got nothing. 
But by missing this guy, we at least prepared him to be executed with a pistol. That wasn't too bad. Amplifying the Chosen. Power is there for all of us. Is that all you've got? Killing one of the high hit point targets. Almost killing him. At least getting him into kill range. And since these guys will all run into this direction, might as well position myself over here. They will reach the uh, they will reach the Templar, and the Templar will then hopefully blade storm them to death. targets with three hit points yes this could be a potential kill it is Enemies down. no more targets with three hit points so might as well try to bring the others down Oh my god, so many lost. One down. Did he just hit the second one? Yes, no, maybe? Oh my god. So, let's focus on the Chosen, shall we? Besides, what the heck are you doing up here? By the number. We're doing some cleanup. We do have FPS drops and that's partially because the Chosens are just running around mad. Everything with two hit points can be killed by a pistol. We're optimizing it. Uh, we're going to get the Chosen in a second. We have en enough ammunition to at least get some more of these guys down. The last shot is reserved for the Chosen. He gets, or she gets quite a couple of kills. I like it. So, time to move in. We're moving closer to the Chosen. Time for some more falling damage. That's 3 plus 4 falling damage. There we go. Hundred uh, percent hit and a lot of damage on top of it. Um, 
We're taking one shot. Not more than that. No I want uh, to have another uh, another round of shots without reloading. And this here is starting to get the chosen down. Holy, holy moly. It's down to 14. Unfortunately, can't see the chosen from our position. I might decide to still go for the chosen. Depending on whether or not we can kill him here. Because we still have a pistol shot with our new uh, soldier, and even if it's only two, uh, two damage. I bet you can't do that again. All right. Challenge accepted. Chosen's moving in. Uh, yeah, she's also a chosen. No, but she's moving in. He's down to one HP. Unbelievable. Which means our newcomer will be able to block that side and kill the chosen. Oh, it's by the way, it's a he, not a she. Nice one. You surprised so the choice is down. Maybe I need to reconsider my tactics. I'm sure we'll see them again, but that chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today, Commander. Time for some more cleanup. That's right. Running dry on ammo. Shifter here has such a good position. And she's doing quite well. I mean, yeah. Just at the moment when I'm uh, uh, telling uh, that she's doing well, of course she's going to miss a shot. Okay, we missed the loot, which is unfortunate. I would have liked, uh, I really would have liked to get it, but we can't have it all. So we're now going to slowly retreat. There are indeed a lot of Chosens coming in. But I think that's the purpose of this map. <coughs> Alright. Reload. I think we still got a couple of two hit point targets. Time to be precise. We need to get our um, support further back, our specialist. I 
mean, we're hitting extremely well. But I think we can't. We we can't permanently outgun them. There will be a lot just swarming in. to the other side. And taking high ground. Okay, so we just need to get out of the mission. I think we have a lot of kills, to be honest. Swarm. Must not fail. <sighs> it's easy if you block all of the entrances it's more difficult when they actually can come on top of the roof Let's make sure we can clean as much as possible without the guys on the rooftop taking shots. Could give her a couple more kills and level her so we can get uh, so we can get the upgrade for squad size 2. A terrible decision. Target neutralized. At this point, I'm just trying to kill as many as I can. Enemies down. Let's do this. Got it covered. I'm realizing how fortunate I was with uh, the uh, with the covered operations uh, uh, resistance orders. Sorry, with the resistance orders in my ballistic weapon foreman um, permanent dark events run, because we had between the eyes, which immediately kills any form of uh, loss, no matter how many hit points they have. And that was just very helpful. We simply never had the problem of them having too many hit points. Overwatch. On it. Yeah, we almost killed all of them. Three are left over. But very soon more of them will come. Rock and roll. I'm on it. No one will slip past. Get it together. That is not good. 
Well, at least one person hits. Perfect distance, by the way, for our heavy or grenadier. If we give her all of the kills, she might even level up. That would be really, really helpful. Okay, so let's go. One. Give me the promotion. Two. Shitting me. That is not good. No. That indeed is not good. Taking care of. To be precise, that is utter bullshit that you missed a ninety seven percent shot. Target eliminated. Well, so much for her promotion then. At least our sniper is somewhat hitting. Alright, I mean next turn... Service. Next turn is going to be our exit. Most of us will be able to run to the exit. Negative damage. One last attempt to give her at least some experience. You can't handle me. Could you use some ammo over here? You want some more? Negative ammo. Good to I'm go. spent. You see that? Did you get any promotion? No. Just moving out. Moving out. Stepping off. Making my exit. Um, I think this here is the faster way. Escort. Once we get him patched up, he should be ready to rejoin the fight. More lost. Oh my gosh. We probably could have fought the position for a long, long time without even being hit. Clear of this area, Commander. The lost are pouring in faster than we can keep up with. There's no point in trying to fight them. Well, so far we have been okay. Moving Thanks for your concern, position. Bradford. Hostile neutralized. Heading out. All right. Let's I'm out of here. Let's go. 
All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. We successfully rescued the Good. We got five ability points and we killed 77 here. enemies. That should be more than enough to get at least a couple of promotions. Getting this beautiful safe game back on track. So we got another en engineer, which is great, because we can continue to excavate. We got another sniper apparently, which is also great. Because because it allows us to maybe Let's run two snipers in the main the team. Are vulnerable and we can take them down. We just have to figure out how to keep them down. Promoted him to sergeant. And promoted her to lieutenant. We need a captain though. She got 59 kills, but it still takes some time to get to Captain. A glorious battle. Oh nice, 104 into on top of it. And Lieutenant, good. So we're going to start with the Engineer. I think we paid a hefty price. Look at her. She's shaken now. But we can bond her. That's good. Yeah, you're not going to go with a squaddy, my my dear. That's not going to happen. So we got another lieutenant. Before he made contact, he's wearing dreadlocks and he seems to be extremely angry. From what little he's told me, it sounds like he managed to gain a position with the Advent government early on, if only to start leaking intel to the. He seems to have an anger problem by looking uh, longer at him. A significant anger problem. Anyways, let's promote him. Long watch, yes please. Lightning hands, yes please. And we're going to go with quick draw. One more level. Let's check the training center real quick because I think we got a couple of soldiers with uh, soldier points. We certainly got her and I would like almost to give her holo targeting because it's a very good ability and we're having problems with hitting in general. Yeah, that's Godfather. I like the idea of him having chain shot, but not necessarily the most required ability also costs 25 points so probably a bit wasteful we could upgrade um, our profit i mean bladstorm is just freaking good so once uh, she said lieutenant that's an option serial certainly is an option but 25 points are a bit too much of a price Similarly, uh, chain shot really good abilities, but I don't want to waste all of our points on one ability. This is our new sniper. I like the untouchable idea. Costs only 12 points. Death from above is also not bad. Just to gain some extra um, action points. Actually, both are pretty good. And I think in terms of giving him three points of the pool, that's fine. 
Untouchable is really good. But so is Death from Above. Mm. Let's take Death from Above. We can use her as well. Giving her three points is okay. Haywire is a really good skill. Good. He's the only one whom we haven't uh, given anything yet, but Volatile makes us a shit skill. Maybe Blade Master, but we wait for his abilities at Lieutenant. So, Holly Robertson got a fear of Max, okay? If we're putting Emma Schwartz uh, in, then she's going to be gone for 10 days. But that's okay. I mean, most of our guys are now wounded anyways. So might as well remove the negative traits. She was afraid of Chosen, and that's really... That's a very common enemy, so we don't want to be afraid about, uh, of them. Finishing Avenger the money, the then getting board. the other uh, scientists, and visiting the black market would be a good idea as well. So visiting the black market Avenger very quick, because we have a lot of board. intel. Might as well see if we can purchase some PCSs. So we got another superior conditioning and per superior uh, perception and we got another lieutenant ranger. Wow, that's pretty good. We got 208 intel. The ranger is 95. We got perception. We could actually buy everything. Let's see. We can't expand at the moment, at least not without building something. We don't really need to expand. We could go here for South I Africa. Machine learning isn't bad. Make contact and install radio relays um, on instant. That's really good because it lets you expand faster. So I would highly recommend getting that next. But it it's not it's not really required, right? Um, so. Since these two PCSs are the best PCSs uh, that you can get, and a ranger on a lieutenant is such a high rank, I am going to purchase everything to fill up this roster. I know, super wasteful, right? It's actually not. We're out of intel, but that doesn't matter. What really matters is that we've invested in our soldiers, which was damn needed. So she's she's bad when it comes to aim, but she has a lot of health and she has also blast padding, which means I would suggest giving her the superior aim. She's going to be the frontliner in many cases and needs to shred. She actually needs to hit and unless we have tail and rounds, which we currently do not have, uh, the superior aim, uh, so the superior perception actually helps her out. She's at 86 now, which is a really, really good value. She's going to be part of our main team. Um, Shifter has 9 health, that's pretty good. Godfather has, uh, has um, um, a PCS already. I'm thinking about either giving him the PCS or I mean, Rocky here has movement. Our new ranger. Let's check what the new ranger has in terms of skills. Let's see if she's good. Oh, holy moly. That is awesome. Rupture, such a strong skill. Getting that on the ranger is very good. And Serial, this is going to be an endgame monster ranger that we have uh, drafted here. So, 
Nate, you gotta let her survive. She is going to be a killer. Damn. Okay, so she's a hot candidate uh, to to actually get the health, but she already has some. Um, the Templar has health already, that's why he's at, uh, she's at 10 hit points. So we got Templar, we got one Ranger, one Sharpshooter, one Grenadier, one Specialist, um, plus X. And X could be literally anyone. You could even uh, finally get a Reaper for scouting purpose, but yeah. You could also run with two snipers, to be honest, just a lot of damage, or to make it even easier, uh, two rangers, that's a good combination as well. And later switch one for a Psyop. So since we don't know who the last person is, we're just going to give it to our healer. Makes for a solid um, 12 hit points. So she's going to be fine and she will be able to heal. Uh, by the way, we have forgotten to level our ranger, promote the soldier, yes please. Red master, we're going for shadow step, so we don't want overwatch fire, and we're going for run and gun. Very good. She has unfortunately put on the wrong color. And let's also say that now, after she fought intensively, she went back to her Maori um, and ancestors. So she's scar uh, two faced now. Good. Perfect. Our roster is looking smooth. I really like it. So when you're behind, spending intel on actually getting soldiers is absolutely okay. Avenger plotting new course. The level of soldiers that are available is determined by how far you're in the game. So the longer, uh, the deeper it is, the, the later it is in the game, the higher the level. And the second one is the higher the ranks of your soldiers, the better. So in this case, we could already um, hire soldiers at the highest rank which is equal to the rank of our highest soldier. There are resistance contacts. The game realizes that we have no further resistance contacts. Again, the game will give you what you need. If you cap out on resistance contacts, you will have a much higher chance to get resistance contacts here on the global map. All right, we got three potential targets. Only soldiers of sergeant rank or lower are allowed in this mission. <laughs> we have only uh, soldiers of sergeant rank or lower. Thank you for that side trip. So that's actually not a side trip for us. Uh, high level of psionic enemies. Very difficult. Protect the device. By the way, one of the most difficult uh, types of um, of enemies to to counter undying loyalty. The 104 intel is nice. That here is nice as well to counter it. But to be honest, I can't be honest to do it. I think we're going to go for this mission. A. I don't want viper rounds. It's just a really really fucked up um, event. B. There's yet another Ranger, Lieutenant for free, that's as good as 100 Inter. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much the logic behind it. So let me do something here with only 6 hours until plated armor. So we're going to fly over and we're just going to alternate a little bit until the plated armor is done. Commander, now that we've established contact, we're not really we're assaulting the facility. We're just we've fine. The details yeah. we need to move on the aliens facility. One, two. This is our chance to set back their work on the Avatar project. It's cool. Still six hours. Avenger. 
Avenger plotting new course. That's okay. We'll get there before the mission runs out. The reason why I wanted to do it is having plated armor is just very, very, very good. We're going to go with the Advent Officer the Advent Autopsy, Office. that's fine. And Without let's see if we can get the plated armor. Power is difficult to come by outside the cities. Even among the staunchest of anti-alien dissidents, recovered Advent equipment is highly We're missing covered. supplies. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. And alloys. We're missing one alloy. <laughs> Shit. Uh, tough luck. Let's get the gauntlet. Having the commander around seems to have given the resistance a morale boost, not to mention our crew. Alright. Time to do this mission. I'm going to prepare the squad and we're going to see each other in the next run. Which is probably going to be one of the last. We are now very close to powered armor. We already got powered armor. I'm going to prevent this and get someone um, to get squad size upgrade 2. Plus invade a facility at the end of this run. And then I declare it as officially no longer fucked. And send the safe bay back to the donor. And let's hope that he's going to tell me how well he did and whether or not he made it. Maybe we're even playing the same uh, then fucked up safe game again once he has ruined it. Anyways, um, see you in the next mission. Have a great evening.